What is up guys, we are back with episode 7 of my Vault Hunter Let's Play. As you see, we just finished last episode our second vault uh, of the run. We got all this loot. We opened up some of our packs. You see we are level 5. Um, I did, as we as we saw, put some points into haste uh, and experience. And uh, we have our dash leveled up to level 2, main miner still level 3. Um, so, today's episode, what we're really going to be trying... Uh, what we're really going to be try and do is run a vault or two. Um, so how I'm going to do this for you guys on YouTube is I'm going to, I believe I have two vault crystals somewhere. I have three. I'm going to run the recipes of these three vaults, vault rocks. Um, as you see, some of them I actually will need to go run around and do stuff. I don't want this video to be, you know, an hour and a half long. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to do, do jump cuts of each completion. Right, so if this is completed, I'll do a jump cut, show you guys me completing it, and so on and so forth for all three. And then I uh, will see how far I am and how much time I have, and we'll try to run uh, these oops, these three crystals in a jump cut sequence, or I'll just show you kind of the loot I've got at the end. Uh, as we do know, vaults are usually 25 minutes around that each, so um, I will do a jump cut type of thing for each of these vaults. So, uh, I will see you guys back in your time a few seconds for me a couple minutes of me completing all three of these vault rocks and we will get back to you very shortly. Hey everyone, we're back with the first completion of the vault crystal. Um, I had a lot of trouble finding andesite. Uh, I ended up just crafting diorite and cobblestone uh, together. As you see, if you put one and one, it makes two. So I just used two of my andesite. Um, and now we'll move on to the second recipe. I'll quickly collect this and we'll see what it is. Pretty easy. Uh, we'll need some snow. Uh, but other than that, I will see you guys in a few seconds. All right, everyone, we're back with the second vault crystal completion. Um, I had to fly around a little bit to get some snow over here and this is a pumpkin patch. I didn't visit the village, but I just, as you see with my little waypoint there, uh, I flew over there with my elytra. Mind, uh, I like a couple stacks of pumpkin now. So there's vault crystal number three. And then we will put vault crystal, or as this vault crystal two. This is vault crystal three. Um, gravel, emeralds, rotten flesh. Uh, I will jump back to you guys when this is complete, and then we will see where we're at. All right, everyone, we're back with the third vault crystal done. Yeah, just making sure I actually finished it. With that in mind, uh, I did upgrade my chest plates uh, with some netherite we had lying around. Um, we do now have all three of these vault crystals ready to go. So I'm going to uh, do a jump cut of me running through them. Uh, I'll speed one of them up uh, so we have, you know, an actual episode. So the first vault I will speed up, or I guess the most interesting of the modifiers. If I get like a, you know, a couple boring vaults, I'm not going to, I'll just record the rewards. If I get an interesting vault or maybe like I'll, I'll try to do the boss, I, I don't think I will, but um, I will, uh, I will record it. So I guess what you guys will see now is me doing one of these three vaults. Uh, fast forward, and then I will meet you guys at the end of the episode four the loot and uh, galore of these three vaults. So I will see you guys in a few seconds or a good fast forward. So guys, I wanted to, I'm in vault number one here. It's a pretty bland vault, but I did come across one of these uh, treasure X marks the spot rooms where I'm, as you see in my bottom left with four minutes left, desperately try to mine as much vault ore as possible. Obviously vault ore, is very valuable and pretty rare when we come to the vaults. So I'm dumping random things in my inventory. I was literally running towards the exit when I came across this room that I haven't discovered yet. Um, so that's why I have four minutes left. So hopefully uh, I survive this and get out in time. Uh, this vault, as I was saying, was pretty, would I just get slowness? Let's cleanse this. This vault was pretty subpar in terms of loot, uh, but I did get a lot of vault ore from it. So that's kind of the, oh, that did some damage. That's kind of the plus of this vault. Um, oh, I ate the wrong apple. So uh, I'm going to be back in a few seconds or uh, whatever um, time it takes to, for me to get out of this. I think I've pretty much got most of all ores without risking my exit. Um, I don't see any, any big ones lying around. I guess there's one right there. Ashium or I could also mine this 
ancient debris to get some more netherrack. Hopefully that creeper doesn't kill me as I'm mining this. It was right there. Okay. Now we're going to get out of here because I do not want to die. I do not want to lose my items. If you do not escape the vault in time, you do lose all your items. It is almost as if you died. Um, fair warning to, to those who have not been lost in a vault before. So you really want to make it out in time to keep all your all your loot that you just got so i'll be back to you guys in a few seconds when i'm back home safe and sound um and hopefully uh on the other side of the vault portal again very unfortunate i'm on my way out and i crossed a puzzle room which can give you a bunch of gilded chest but unfortunately we do not have the time i wish i would have stumbled upon this room first i would have taken the time to loot that uh but yeah so I'm on my way out. I'm just going to keep recording just in case I don't make it. Uh, I really wish I came this way because this is a village. Like I said, it has the chance to... Um, I'm going to quickly try to grab that golden apple. It does have the chance to spawn a with that portal underneath. That is very good for loot because it will give you 12 gilded chest. The puzzle room can actually give you... I think it's like 15 something, 25 gilded chest. It's a like a 5x5 five five full of gilded chest. So... When you get a lucky room, those rooms are... Where's my exit? It's right there. It's right there. Those rooms are gold. Literal gold. So, we made it out alive. I'll do a quick little cut to show you guys what we got for the first vault, and then we will jump into our second vault. Alright, everyone. We are back uh, after our loots of vault number one. As you see, there's not that much in terms of XP or, you know, valuables, but we did get a decent amount of ore. Uh, which will help us later on to craft some things. So uh, I upgraded my my leggings to netherite leggings with some of the nether scrap we had, and we're about to hop into our second vault. Uh, if we get bad modifiers, speedy, safe zone, difficult. Uh, I'm gonna time lapse this vault as um, oh, for a little bit, as I'm just gonna run in loot, especially with difficult. Uh, safe zone will help obviously because it lets me run around, but I will do a jump cut similar to the first. Um, Vault, and if there's anything interesting, obviously I will let you guys know and stop and begin recording. Sorry. So, guys, just to start recording, as you see, as I was looting, I did find a end portal, and luckily I did bring my ender eye. And since we are a safe zone, I know for a fact that none of these chests are trapped, which is great news for us because that means I can loot worry free. Um, I also did almost die. Um, obviously, I know I have my totem, so I, I would have been technically safe. Uh, but I fell into this lava and like was getting attacked by a bunch of silverfish and I hate silverfish They're so small. They're so hard to hit, but luckily I came out alive I threw down I ate one of these apples that gave me fire resistance um, That I just had in my inventory luckily um, Out of just precaution because I've dealt with this stuff before I don't need these random blocks oh, Let's throw these in there just out of precaution, uh, I have these on my hotbar because I know there's rooms like this where, you know, maybe I'm going a little too fast or, or whatever the reason is where I do fall in. Uh, so I was very lucky to have that on hand. Um, I think that I'm just going to toss this stuff in here because this shulker is full, this shulker is not full, and I have my wooden storage crate still. So this was a great find. Um, happily that I brought my, my eyes. Ooh, this is a very good one too. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to continue looting this vault. I will get back to you guys if anything interesting happens. If not, I will see you at the end of this with uh, my my hopefully good loot. Alright guys, we're back. Uh, spoils of our second vault are here. I moved away some of the blocks that we didn't need. But as you see, we're doing pretty good so far. We have 9 plus 4, which is 13 vault cookies. We have some a lot of enchanted apples. I did make some more potions if we see here. I grabbed two of them and made six more potions. Um, I also filled the shulker with some power bars and some um, candy bars, I think that's what they're called, uh, just in case we do get uh, a lucky vault, maybe with like strength and regen, uh, it'd be great to fight the boss. So let's see, uh, I am going to, no matter what this vault is, I am going to play uh, I am gonna play it through to, uh, to finish the episode, so let's see where we're at. So we got a weakened vault. We have weakness, uh, which which is not what we want to fight the boss. So we're just going to do another uh, loot and dash type of vault here. Hopefully we can get lucky and get a you know puzzle room or uh, let me mark my exit here before I forget. So now we do a lot less damage. Uh, still two hit for zombies, which is all right. Uh, let's put the exit here. Let's delete my old waypoint. Uh, X, delete, cool. And we're good to go. So 
Uh, we're gonna run through this vault. Hopefully, we're gonna get a few more vault cookies. Maybe a vault diamond if we're lucky, uh, or two. You know, depending on how we, how how this game is treating us, uh, because we do want to start crafting up our knowledge stars, which give us some mods. So we got a mine. Um, I've actually never had this before. Uh, oh, that looks like a pretty ore. Oh, I took some fall damage there. I'm gonna eat an apple or two. Tubium ore. Interesting. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, when I was looking at a few other YouTubers play this uh, in some streams. That what's this? Kills. I can easily feed you four kills right now. Um, that this vault has different layers, and I think as we go down, the layers get harder. I'm not sure how accurate the harder part is, but I know I'm pretty sure there's there's different layers. So first, let's go up. Um, okay, so that's what I was talking about. There is uh, different layers here. So if I can kind of s janky staircase down here every two blocks. Here's layer number two, I guess below. Um, I don't see too much ore here that I want to grab. I, I am ignoring all this, this diamond and stuff. Like I said, for... Oh, wait. This is exactly where I was before. Okay. Never mind. We're going to go down again. For ores that I can mine in the overworld, I'd rather not have a, a ticking clock to loot them. I'd rather, you know, go in, strip mine or whatever, uh, wherever I need to. Uh, I really want to only loot vault ore here, like these guys. Um, that way I can really opportune... Op take opportunity of my inventory number one and also just my time in these vaults um we haven't got a i'm not sure what the modifier is but i know there's one that spawns more vault ore so like you know one of these with more vault ore would be amazing um and as you guys saw there this is a secret room we actually need a key to get through there that door is locked Sorry, I had something in my throat there. That door is locked otherwise, unless we do have the specific key for that. So that's something that's a little more late game uh, after we loot some some key fragments, I think is what they're called. Ooh, what's this ore? I haven't seen this before. Echo ore. So a lot of this stuff, um, I'm not sure how the rarity of ore spawns in. I'm gonna just mine through these diamonds real quick. Uh, I'm not sure the rarity. I wanna actually grab some of this to get my full netherite gear because I am pretty close to full netherite. Let me kill this baby zombie. I should eat an apple or two before I take some hearts of damage. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, I, I am almost at full netherite, which is great. Uh, pretty much full netherite is going to be our armor up until we get vault level 25. I mean, right now we're level 6. Probably by the end of this episode, we'll be level 8, level 9, hopefully, if we're lucky with our vault cookies. There's another secret room, by the way, that we cannot open because we do not have the key, which is very unfortunate. Um, you know, I can go show you guys if we run up here. And right click we can't get in and there, there are some good chests and some great ore in there if we look up a bunch of ore but sadly we cannot loot it so uh, i think we've we've pretty much cleared this out uh, i was gonna grab some netherite uh hopefully i do have a helmet at home that i got in last vault that's not enchanted yet so obviously i'm not wearing it we need that protection uh, give me that ore right there cool so i'm going to build back up get out of this where is my little corner of escape get one more of these hopefully we'll be able to baby villain zombies are, are, are so fast i don't even hear them before they start attacking me let's eat two of these guys or three that's what i meant did i pick that up i didn't let me pick that up i should grab a magnet up here eventually um i do have i believe a magnet recipe in my um is that a vault door no I do have a magnet recipe in one of my vending machines, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and I'm sure by now I've collected enough vault ore to uh, to actually make one. Uh, pretty much the magnets in that are, that are craftable are... Am I too high up? Is it this level? The magnets that are craftable do have a durability. They do run out eventually, so we, we, we're going to need a couple of them as we kind of progress. I'm going to get to a safe spot. Uh, we'll, we'll pretend this right here is a safe spot. If I can make this jump, I can indeed. We're gonna toss down my first shulker. This is not a safe spot. Well noted. I hear spider as well. I think I'm okay for now. Let's just do this and quickly dump my inventory here. Let's not get hurt too much. Again, this weakness is playing a, a decent part. We're, we're doing a, a percent of less damage and we're gonna keep running here. Let's run towards this chest that I, that 
that I gave the altar to. Some kills. Creeper. Alright, and we're gonna keep going. So, uh, my goal out of this episode is to hopefully get enough. Um, I keep thinking these. Uh, last vault I did was, was safe, uh, which means there's no trap chest. So, I was opening chest obviously like right on top of them or whatever. Uh, I can't really do that this, uh, this vault and I need to remember that because uh, it will affect me quite negatively if I get poisoned. So obviously I know I have cleanse and I can I can get rid of it pretty quick. Uh, but I just kind of don't want to go through that trouble of having to use my cleanse over and over and over because it does have a 10 second cooldown and if I get caught without it, um, it is a lot of damage. I think I have a baby villager. I keep saying baby villager, I mean baby zombie. No idea why I do that, but... Uh, I guess I interact with with baby zombies or baby villagers a lot more. Did I put my bricks away? I did. Let me grab these real quick. Oh, see, they're, they're just everywhere. You do not hear them. Um, cool. I picked that up. I need to make sure I always pick up my shulker boxes too because uh, I have a bad history with forgetting them in my inventory or forgetting them on the floor when I'm... Oh, hello, zombies. Uh, when I leave a vault room and um, I lose a bunch of loot. Poison. That's okay. We are far away from it. We are lucky. I do want to eventually maybe grab like a grab that bell. Uh, grab extra reach. Can I get this without being poisoned? I can't. Grab an extra reach, um, as it does help for for trap chest and just generally fighting mobs. You know, having that extra one block advantage. Uh, there's there's some chest in there, I believe. Um, from all the mobs, it sounds like there's something in there. Let's uh, loot this. Never know. We need some diorites. Uh, we'll grab those chests. We'll grab these two chests. Oh, hello, creeper. That's in the corner of my vision. Let's take you out real quick. I think this power six bow, because uh, remember I added the tome to it, has has oh, villain, uh, witch has been saving me quite a bit. Uh, I've been very lucky not to be hit by by witches in my two uh, vault runs I did uh, off camera. Uh, normally I can catch them before. Sometimes they'll surprise you though, which is very unfortunate. Uh, I do wish I had axe i do have an axe but i just didn't bring it because i didn't think i would need it and i always say that and then let me grab this so i can vein mine some of the stuff and get out of it really quick nice trader core let's keep going here should i jump down where are we i've never seen this before we're going to pretend everything's safe i can't open that there's a block above it here we go grab some of the stuff another ball cookie which is great another chest over here not much in it i'm gonna show you guys what what these these uh, arrows do because they are hilarious to do. Um, hilarious to see that is hilarious. They're pretty funny to use uh, in obviously certain situations where you're not gonna you're gonna harm yourself with them. So uh, if I build up here, I believe this is a dead end in all directions other than the one I came from. It is so we're going to head back to the center and kind of head the opposite direction I started in. I know there's like branches. If you think about it, this this vaults uh, vault rooms are, are very much yes they're random but they're always kind of in the same type of shape you know it, they have let's say three rooms on the north south east and west and obviously the rooms that branch off of that so oh i as you guys kind of saw there i forgot i had those arrows equipped but i did kind of shoot a, a rocket that destroyed blocks so they're they're fun to use in um some of the dig site rooms where you can potentially dig a little bit uh they're they're pretty fun there so i just went in the west direction uh, for the maximum amount of blocks and we reached the dead end room now I'm gonna head in the east direction the maximum amount of blocks and hopefully hit the dead end room or hopefully hit something That is worth my time We're gonna be running here. I'm gonna dash up here. I was trying to hit that lily pad would have been a cool move uh, And we're gonna keep running over here to the next room. Hopefully it's something good. It is a Just a tree room. I don't I don't really think this this is the most valuable room, even though there's an underneath. I'm gonna keep running. I'm really in these rooms. I'm looking for, um, you know, I don't when I don't have these crazy modifiers that give me extra luck or whatever. I'm kind of just looking to grab as many of these these chests as possible. Hopefully, find a few gilded chests along the way, because um, that's what we we really need to level up here. Uh, if I did get lucky with modifiers, maybe you know my fourth or fifth vault, I would maybe try the um, the boss. As we have power bars now, um, oh, I missed that shot. Hopefully, it doesn't throw a potion on me. I know I'm not charging my bow up all the way, but I kind of just want to start doing damage to that witch. As soon as you start doing damage, they'll decide to heal rather than throw a potion at you. So it's a very good option if you see witch right away to just take a shot. Ooh, is there a chest in here? There's. Uh, to just take a shot at it. This is gonna hurt me. That's okay though. I'm too fast. 
uh, to, to just take a shot at the witch because, like I said, it will prevent them from throwing their thir first uh, poison potion or weakness potion or slowness, I believe. Those are the three debuffs they can give you. Um, so that's usually why I try to just get a shot out, no matter how the strength is. Uh, let's loot this. Some relic booster packs. I believe this should be the dead end room. As you see, we went three full rooms east, and then we got the dead end room. So we're going to quickly loot these chests. We're going to run back to the middle, and then we're going to do the south or north room. Uh, I believe one of them we can't do because obviously there's the. Oh, I got some. So this is what the rocket arrow does, by the way. So yes, it does shoot blocks. <laughs> It's uh, it's pretty funny. I'm not actually sure it, it harms people unless you hit them, uh, but it's very good for rooms where you need to clear out a big area very quick. Like I said, dig sites are probably the most common uh, rooms where you have to dig, or the uh, X marks the spot, like the treasure room rooms uh, that I had uh, in the first vault that I that I showed you guys, where it has the chance to spawn a bunch of ore. Now I do, I have done one of those rooms before. Um, the is that an altar I just saw? Or is that just... Uh, I don't see an altar. We're going to keep going. Altars are very good because they're they're never trapped. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure they're never trapped. Uh, and they usually give you pretty good loot. You know, they're, they're similar to a gilded chest, uh, I believe, for loot. on loot tables, um, which is good. So now we're going to run um, north, I believe, or, or south, depending on where our portal room is. And we're going to hopefully go to the end of that, those three rooms, and we're going to see if we can grab any surface chests. I do need to dump my inventory here real quick, so I'm going to do that while we have a second. Hopefully nothing spawns behind me. I still have portals. Cool. Well, good. I said portals, I meant potions. Uh, so here we see our portal room is south, so that means we're going to run north to the very end. Hopefully we'll be able to get... Um, you know something good i do understand that like i could be losing a decent amount of loot by not at least checking the left and right uh you know if there's a a room that is rare you know but i sometimes can't see so when i'm going to go to this end over here i'm kind of going to do a circle so i'm going to go down one left one down one left one and meet to you know the complete east room or the complete uh north room this room is very good uh for ores um, we can spawn some ores here above and below so we're gonna quickly peek and see if I can find any vault ore that I really want or like this a chest now there could be a spawn or something above this there isn't I grab these relic booster packs uh, I do not really want to climb up and get those I don't really have the time for that uh, like I said if this was maybe a um, modifier where there was more vault ore compared to vanilla ore I might have taken the time and built up but I think right now I'm not in the, the greatest greatest need for this and also like I said there there is this down part that usually has a decent amount of ore as well so which is why I kind of vetoed the top and really am focusing on just the ore that's easy accessible uh, and easy to get for me because that is what I need um, let's see here and the other thing I can do is this if we grab these uh, remember how I said that we need to mine I can do this and we'll mine some of those ores obviously it does make a bunch of junk but hey I can run quickly over it um, it's it's pretty funny to see obviously as you see it does like my game a little bit and my inventory is gonna be filled with a bunch of random blocks now I don't think I have any more oh, okay, cool. I'm gonna fill this random chest with all these random blocks that I have hopefully nothing comes up behind and it blows me up uh, I think that is most of the random stuff I do not want I'll take these two things out and we're actually going to the next room I know I didn't really loot it oh, I'm gonna grab this ore though that I just passed by um, this uh, Laramir, Laramir ore is very good uh, for, or keep it in north, for making knowledge stars and just general early crafting. So that's why I'm looting that compared to any other ore. I believe this is the last room if we look blocked off. Blocked off. Yep, so this is our last room north. We're going to see if we can get some loot here, and then we're going to bounce. Uh, we're going to go south one, and then... We can say east one, then south one, then east one uh, to get through this. I'm going to grab the soul sand as it's double compressed. I did in one of our uh, last vaults, I did grab some honey and some, some wax uh, blocks. I'm not sure if I can deconvert them, but there will be a point where we do need some, some bees. Probably we'll set up a bee farm. There are a few hives around my, my base that we can uh, you know start, start our little honey farm, which is good. Um, there's nothing I really want there. Uh, we're going to keep heading down. We're going to hopefully loot at least one side of the uh, of the uh, vault, you know, where I said we're going to go down one 
east one or west one. Uh, we're going to hopefully loot at least one side. We have about nine minutes left, so uh, we're going to jump here and we're going to keep going with this. So uh, I'm again, I'm going to mostly look for valuable rooms here. Uh, let's go west or east. That's what I said. Uh, we're going to head east. We're going to check this room that we're going to head south once more, then east once more to try to do a bit of a circle. So uh, this room from my knowledge i don't really know what it is just looks like a okay i don't really like the water that much uh, let's see if i can just cut i'm just gonna cut to this room right now i don't really want to spend time climbing up and going down you know doing all these these gymnastics to to get subpar loot this tree i'll actually do as there are a decent amount of chest up top um and you know that's what we're here for we're here for some chests these not much i want to grab there i will grab this emerald rock because why not um let's keep heading up we want to be quick we want to take advantage of our vault time as much as possible nice we got some good stuff i see you out of the corner of my eye let's kill you uh some gems nice me i'm looting the experience bottles right now because um with my uh, farm my XP farm not really up and working to the point I want to I don't really have a vault. Oh, we got two vault ore from that or two vault diamonds, which is amazing. I, I think we honestly might have enough for a block of vault. Okay, I need to dump some of my stuff here. Dump, 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 dump. Oh, let's not get killed. Uh, let's take you. There's no more stackable. Okay, I still have the the chest. Uh, the engineer's chest or whatever it's called. Uh, do I? Did I put it down somewhere and not pick it up? Uh oh. Oh no, it's in that inventory. Oh, you can put it in a shulker box. I did not know that. That's actually pretty cool for storage. Um, cool. We're going to keep running here. I know you can put the vault chest in the shulker box as well. I think we, I really want to take up, uh, take on. Oh, that's not what I want. Take on a boss next episode to hopefully get his chest. As I said, it's like a double chest of portable inventory. Uh, and it's very, very useful in these situations, uh, being vaults. I think that is it for this room. There's probably some chests that I missed or that I passed, like this one. Get two box extra vault cookies. Um, I'm gonna quickly, oh, that's not what I wanna do. I'm gonna quickly, I hear a witch laughing at me somewhere. Uh, grab this, that is poisoned and it affected me. We're gonna cleanse real quick to not take damage from that. Um, we're gonna run back down as fast as we can. Uh, we're going to grab one more room before this vault ends and we're going to bounce. I do not want to, uh, like I said, oh, mob spawn. Where's the exit? Exit this way. We're going to head, uh, I guess we can head to west one more. I don't know if we've looted this one. I guess we'll see when we get there. Let's go back to dash so we can get through. The, oh, let's say so we get through these quickly and I miss, but uh, I don't know if we've looted this one. We do have a limited time. I don't remember this one, but it's not the friendliest to loot. Uh, so we're gonna head one more west before we depart. I did, I believe, loot this room uh, from my knowledge. Maybe not, maybe maybe I didn't loot this one. I thought we had one of these before. Maybe I just missed that chest. Uh, but we did have, oh no, I didn't loot this. Okay, cool. So we're gonna loot this last room. Uh, there, I don't know why that wasn't Dana. It wasn't a good chest at all. Um, we're going to loot this, fall down there, take a little bit less damage. Uh, let's see if we can find... This is a minute. Uh, I'm going to grab that right before I leave, and we're going to run out of here. Um, I do not want to... Obviously, it's it's a very good chest, you know? It gives gives us some decent stuff. I didn't even look what that was in that chest, honestly. I kind of just opened it and kept running. I'm a little worried about time so far, although we do have five minutes left. Um, let's mine through here. Let's switch to vein miners so we can do it a little quicker. And hopefully we can find at least a little bit of loot in this final room. There's a lot of chests here. A lot of them are probably trapped, or at least spawn some mobs. Ooh, there's definitely some spawners above us. Okay. It seems they can't climb up here. It's like a block with a stair on top, which means they cannot. I'm gonna eat some of this stuff before I die. I'm gonna quickly look at these chests. Nothing. Actually, there was a golden apple there. Grab these. Take the damage, which is not great. I saw a golden apple. What about you? Poison. I knew it. There was at least had to be one, you know. Uh, inventory full. Dump some stuff in here. More mobs. 
There's definitely a spawner probably somewhere here, which is why mobs are kind of spawning on repeat. Uh, secret room, anything in here? Doesn't look like a chest with a gem. Uh, inventory is full again. All right, we need to bounce out of here. I want to grab that um, altar chest. Uh, where did I even come in? Right here. I'm going to grab the altar chest and we are going to bounce out of here because it is time to leave this vault. So we're going to take a minute away from our time. Uh, do I have an empty shulker? This one's kind of empty. Oh, I dropped that. don't want that to happen. See, I've done stuff like that many times where I put my shulker down, do I drop it and I don't realize it did. Okay, we just lost a minute. We're going to grab this stuff. Uh, although it is not the best, it is still better than nothing. All right, we're gonna switch to our dash and we're gonna get out of here. Exit is that way. Hello, Mr. Creeper. We're going to ignore you. And we're going to keep going. I don't really care about my health right now. Is as soon as I leave, I'm gonna regen it. Uh, so I'm not gonna take a potion or anything. I've been pretty good with potions, honestly. There was, like I said, that one time. Oh, hello, or there was that one time in the stronghold where I did almost die, so I popped a potion. But uh, other than that, we've been pretty safe so far. Um, I believe we're coming up to the exit very soon with two minutes to spare. I think this was a very good vault. Uh, we got a decent amount of loot. Um, I'm going to get back to you guys in a second after I organize all of the loot uh, that we've gotten and I will see you guys very soon. All right, peeps, we are back with our vault loot. As we can see, vault one, vault two, vault three. We did get a bunch of loot and to end the episode off, I'm putting on the lucky hat. I'm grabbing all of our consumables, which are our vault cookies, our relic booster packs, and some mystery boxes if we have them. Um, we did get a lot of vault diamonds. I think we got a total of four or five throughout this stuff, which is very good for us. Um, we got some different uh, vending machine people, uh, sellers, and I think I grabbed everything. There we go. Now we're going to have some fun. First of all, I'll do the relic boosters. We can double hand these and we're going to click uh, this. So guys, it seems that when I was opening my relic booster packs and my um, you know, cookies and all of that from, from the, the most recent clip, my recording software stopped. Um, so unfortunately, you guys didn't get to see me open anything. I did not get much. I still have everything in my inventory. I did get my first spirit element relic, which means if we get all four of the element set, we can indeed increase our vault time by 30 seconds. I got some subpar gear, some uh, some you know armor and some enchanted books. Um, I did indeed get enough vault cookies for level 10. So what I was saying in that final clip is that we are reaching level 10 next episode. I will sort all this stuff. We will get ready to either hop in some more vaults, upgrade our gear. We'll figure out what we're gonna do next episode. Uh, I will put some skill points on camera next episode and we'll figure out what we're gonna do. I need to do mine. Uh, some more vault crystals, but yeah, thank you so much guys for tuning into this episode seven of my vault hunter series. It was a great success on these three vaults. Uh, I will catch you guys next episode. Please like, and subscribe. If you guys are enjoying this content, have yourselves a great day.